some sort of a diagnosis of, of venous sinus stenosis on a non-invasive study, which would come to us from venous manometry. And so this is what that looks like. Usually we are doing that with um, a uh, pressure sensing system. It, it's the same thing that we would use for measurement of CVPs. And this gets hooked up to our um, anesthesia monitoring system and mirrored um, on our angiographic screen while we're doing our venous study. And so we go um, through the arterial side as well as the venous side, being able to understand dynamically how things are flowing from the arterial system through the veins is quite important. We're not just looking at the venous side only, but, uh, but both. And so this is a, a, a diagnostic venogram, so a digital subtraction venogram done from the venous side here. You can see flow coming down the superior sagittal sinus across the torcula to the transverse sinus across the transverse sigmoid junction, where we're often, in this particular case, we're seeing bilateral uh, stenoses um, down to the sigmoid sinus, the jugular bulb, and the internal jugular vein. And so during these studies uh, for venous manometry, we're measuring pressures at all of these different locations to be able to detect with high sensitivity any potential site of um, a, a pressure gradient that would correlate with, uh, ideally would correlate with angiographic stenosis.